Hi viewers, uh, in this particular example, we are going to see how to create chamfer toolpaths for both holes and uh, pocket features. So the first one, I'm going to start with holes. So I just select all my model, right click over hole feature set, say create holes. In this particular diagram box, I just select use active walk plane and uh, find holes going down direction only just i'm doing a top setup only that's why i'm clicking this particular option so you can receive the whole feature set in this particular format if you just have a look at a particular uh, hole there are three components are available within the feature set whole feature set one is top uh, chamfer and uh, you have a straight hole and the third one is the conical angle of the particular drill so i just start going to create uh, chamfer toolpaths so i already pre-created my drilling toolpath template so i just said select here chamfer toolpath here i just having my uh, tool as a tapper tip with 12 mm diameter with tapper height as 5 mm and your angle is 45 degree and tapper diameter is 2 at the bottom if you come to the drilling page i had selected cycle type as profile and operation as by chamfer then if you go to the chamfer page here i had given my uh, diameter of the particular chamfer cut is 8.75 just for clearance and having width as 1 mm of my chamfer and the tool clearance as 2 mm if you go to the select page, you can see the diameter uh, of the particular holes are highlighting here. So in this particular case, I'm having a 6.75 hole here. For this, my chamfer size is 8.75. Similarly, I have for 8, it is 10. You can notice that it is getting selected. And for uh, 16, I'm having 18. And uh, for 20 it is 22 and similarly for 30 it is 32 so you can have a look whether it is selected correctly or not once you run you just say calculate the toolpath you just see a particular hole you, uh, you right click over the particular toolpath say simulate from start here it will takes in this fashion here it will plunge at the center and uh, retract also from the center. So the next one, I'm going to create a feature group. In this feature group, I'm going to select a detect feature option. Select a single feature of the particular pocket, accept it. Go back to your uh, uh, toolpath template page where I had pre-created my chamfer template here. So in this one, uh, the particular feature set machining is specifically for chamfer milling. So if just select your feature here and uh, your uh, tool is 16 mm and 45 degree if you calculate this tool path you can get the tool path in this version so by using this method we can create the chamfer for both holes and the pocket so for uh, simulation purpose i've just changed my block it's triangles i recreated a my uh, block without chamfer so just go back to your first tool path simulate from start simulation mode switch off all your uh, feature set and whole features of your even your model also 
block everything so if you run this toolpath here you can see the simulation of the chamfer for the particular sticks place like this you can see chamfer takes place very well in all the holes similarly you can uh, simulate the pocket chamfering you can see the chamfer takes place very well in the pocket feature also thank you